So I'm at a mall in the suburbs. What's more boring than suburbs? Um, suburbs of Canada. Amazing, right? So today I'm going to be uh, doing some test footage with my new lens. It's the anamorphic Sirui lens. 50 millimeter F. <laughs> Get your shit together. 1.8, looks like that. So, yeah, fun times. Downtown very very soon. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some test shots with my new Sirui um, anamorphic lens. But uh, yeah, very curious to see how this goes. I'm really excited actually. I've uh, done a few shots already, and uh, I'm liking it. It looks really cool, but uh, very difficult because everything is manual, and I'm so used to automatic. But let's see how this goes. I'm downtown now with the fam. Oh, she's trying to say something to me. I can't understand her. But um, I understand that uh, shooting anamorphic with this thing right here, probably not the best uh, time. Broad daylight and stuff like that because uh, what people really want to see with an anamorphic lens really is uh, low light capabilities and those amazing lens flares that you get, a la JJ Abrams. I don't know if you're gonna get in this video, but uh, it is what it is. It's daytime, so we'll see. What I'm going to be looking for is uh, bokeh and sharpness, lens sharpness. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Is that a crazy person behind me? Um, but yeah, I'm going to be paying attention to that. Okay. So we're at the Eaton Center right now, right buddy? Taking a break. Uh, so far I'm enjoying shooting with this lens. It's a lot of fun actually. It's, uh, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot just from shooting with this uh, um, non-automatic lens. So yeah, I can't wait to go outside later on tonight when it gets dark. That should be interesting for sure. But I think I got some nice shots. We'll see. I think he's learning how to vlog too, that's amazing. 
a little pumpkin. All right, just popping in here quickly just to give you my final thoughts on the lens and just to kind of tie everything together. It was a great day overall. I mean, spending time with the family, uh, beautiful weather, beautiful city. I had a lot of fun. I had a, a lot of fun filming with this lens. It, I found it, it, it just gives you a different look. Like I realize that now after editing this together, um, how cool it looks. It really does look very filmic. Is that a word? I, I don't even know. I'm not very technical, I'm like an amateur, so it, it's amazing that I was even able to pull this together and edit it in Premiere. I don't know how to use Premiere, but um, you know, YouTube's amazing. There's a lot of teachers on there. The lens looks like this, focus. It's um, one of those crowdfunded projects on Indiegogo. Oh, the box looks like this, pretty cool. It comes nicely packaged, like it's really thick cardboard box so your lens feels really secure and inside there's a bunch of foam and, and whatnot but anyway that's not important um, I think the campaign is done so I don't believe you can go in and, and purchase this lens anymore you could probably get it like in the aftermarket somewhere for a bit more expensive so if you're interested in this kind of a lens um, I think a lot of people who shoot video would be interested in this kind of a lens because it's very expensive um, the cheapest one down is, I have it behind me, it's a 50 millimeter anamorphic lens from, I don't know, there's a lot of numbers and garbage like that, but it's $2,599 and that's even cheap from what I've uh, learned and they, it goes up from there to like 10000 and stuff like that and this cost me just a little over 500 Canadian I believe and um, the results are pretty good. It's not the sharpest lens I found. For instance, this uh, Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens. I mean, mind you, it's probably one of the sharpest lenses you can get. But compared to this lens here that I'm filming this with, this, not so good. But see, that's the thing though. I, I actually like that about this lens, that it's not super sharp. It looks very cinematic to me. Um, it's not blurry, it's still sharp, but it, there's something about it that looks very cinematic. And I like that a lot. It may be because of the bokeh, it may be because of the those lens flares that you can get, but I know about that. I, I knew that that's what I was getting. It's just the way um, the images look. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe that's just my amateur coming out. Uh, maybe all lenses look great like that. I just haven't used any other lens uh, to its fullest capacity like I have this one. But yeah, I like it a lot. Um, another thing that uh, if you're interested in getting a lens like this and you're in my situation where you don't have a lot of experience with uh, lenses, um, it's manual. It's a manual lens. It was very hard for me to use. I'm not used to it at all. All my lenses are automatic. It's auto focus, auto, auto everything, auto white balance. I don't freaking know what I'm talking about, but it's auto everything. And so the camera and the lens does everything for me. I just point it at myself and it looks great. Like this lens that I have on here. I didn't do anything to it. I just pointed at myself, get the proper lighting, and I look good. Uh, with this lens, I couldn't do that. Uh, everything, you have to kind of focus. Everything would be out of focus. So what I had to do was I had to really adjust this camera. I had to turn the, um, what do you call that? I, I don't know what it's called. It's maybe mitering. But anyway, it's like a focus assist. It, it draws a red line around everything. And uh, that tells you that that part is in focus. Now with this lens, you're gonna have to do that for sure. And I also found that walking and filming with this lens, terrible idea, especially with the uh, the Sony cameras because of the rolling shutter, because this thing doesn't have um, in-body stabilization. So everything just kind of wiggles all over the place and you're gonna get a really bumpy, bumpy image. 
the best shots I had were the ones where I was kind of just static and sitting in my chair and just filming people. Um, by the way, filming people, you have to watch how you're filming people because that's kind of creepy and maybe illegal. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, those are the best situations uh, for this lens where you're just kind of like maybe if you did a soft like pan like this, but walking was kind of difficult unless you did slow-mo. Slow-mo is fine for walking. Um, as you'll see in the video or as you've seen in the video probably pro this is at the end of the video So you would have seen all that stuff, but yeah, I'd also like to apologize. This isn't um, this has nothing to do with art I guess it is kind of like art, but it's it's not something that you guys are used to with my channel my channel is all about drawing and and just art life, right? Um, I hope to return back to that soon. It's just that in my life right now I've got so many issues and stuff that I have to deal with um, that that's I just don't have the time for it right now uh, so yeah I really want to get back to it that's my bread and butter and that's my passion so um, yeah I apologize for that if you guys um if I tricked you into watching this video I'm sorry just um, don't give me a thumbs down give me a thumbs up that would help that'd be great um, but yeah I think I've said enough about this lens I could probably say more but I just don't have the IQ I just don't know much about um, videography or anything like that to comment any more on that just that's about all I know so I hope this was helpful for people looking um, at a lens like this or this particular one um, yeah that's uh, that's about it anyway hopefully my next video will be about drawing how to draw a nose how to draw an eyeball or whatever like that um, but yeah until then thanks for watching thanks for sticking around I really appreciate it uh, and I'll be seeing you guys soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.